Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video, we're going to start talking about templating. Now when we say templating, we're talking about the process of creating a template of some HTML that has kind of blanks to be filled in with data. Think of it like those um, Mad Lib type things where you enter a verb here and down there and then you read it all off. It's the same type of thing where you create a template. The template has little blanks in it that you populate with data. This is very useful when you're using parameters and when you're using like index pages and things like that. To give you an example, let's go to Amazon and look at whatever. Here's a shirt. Now, you'll notice this whole thing. It's got the title here, it's got the stars, it's got the ratings, answered questions, it's got the little to buy over there on the side. That looks the exact same no matter what product you're looking at. So let's go look at what the Samsung um, hard drive or solid state drive looks like. Yeah, solid state. But it's got the same thing. It's got your title here, it's got the off the company that's selling, it's got stars, it's got ratings, it's got questions, it's got the add to cart kind of type thing. So Amazon is using templating. Let's look at their Amazon Fire. Same thing, it's got a picture. It's, it's, it's the exact same on each page. It's just different data. So they're using templating to get this done. And we're gonna do the exact same thing. There's a ton of different templating engines out there that we could use. Popular ones include Mustache, Handlebars, Jade, Underscore. But we're gonna use EJS, which stands for Embedded JavaScript. Embedded JavaScript Templating. It's the one that I found most beginners um, are kind of the easiest to pick up. Once you get one down, you can easily branch out to the others and use whichever one you like best. It's like most things with programming. You learn the concepts with one and then you can apply them in a variety of different contexts. So that's that's really the important thing to remember. If you learn one, you can easily pick up the rest. So if you are interested in reading the docs for EJS, it's just EJS.co. You can click on docs and it has all the different docs there. Um, basically what we're going to do is we're going to tell Express to use EJS so that whenever a request is made, Express is going to use the template that we provide and fill in the blanks with data. It could be from the user, from an API, from our database, whatever, and it's going to build a vanilla HTML page and re respond with that. That's going to be the response sent to the user. So the templates never actually get to the user, that's just used by our server. And in the next video, we're going to get an EJS installed and get it set up, and we're going to start using it to serve up some HTML pages. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'll be happy to help. Thanks.